Hey Capricorn, how you doing? Uh, gonna be doing your reading here for mid-May, mid-month check-in. I'm um, just gonna jump right into it. Just keep in mind these are general readings, so just take what resonates and leave the rest out. All right, guys. Um, let's see what we got going on for Capricorn here. Sun in reverse is gonna start off your reading here. All right, so Leo energy. Um, the Sun reverse though, that's like you know. Not necessarily in a bad energy, but there's there's something here that um, maybe you're going through or currently just not so happy with. You know, maybe there's a relationship, maybe there's a work situation, um, something here that you're working on. There's some sort of adjustments that you're trying to do to to obtain your happiness here. So again, there's just not to say you're like unhappy. It's just the fact of a feeling. You know, there's something here that um, you know you're starting to realize something here. Let's see. We have the Five of Wands. It could be competition, conflict, gossip, or maybe the people that you work with or you're around. You, you're not really, not really vibing here. There, there's maybe some negativity around you, you know, something like that here. Let's see. We do have the world, so I mean, there is, you know, some changes that is coming in for you. Overall energy, we do have the Knight of Pentacles. So, like I said, I do feel like, you know. This might be a work situation where, um, and again, this you know just fit it where it fits in, in the in the story here for you. But um, with the Knight of Pentacles, you know, I do feel like there's something that you're moving forward, and this could just be, you know, working on your stability, working on your finances, right? But but there's a sense of realizing maybe you're not happy in a situation right now. Maybe there's too much drama, or maybe. You know, there's some days that are good and some days that are bad, you know, just something like that. But you don't feel a sense of purpose in what you're doing. Like there's no satisfaction, you know, it's like you're you know, like it's like one of those things where you go to, you go to work and um, I can't even talk with this retrograde. So just bear with me. Uh, but you go to work and, um, you know, let's just say, for example, you, you know, you got to get the paycheck and get the bills done and, and things like that. You're doing everything you do. But there's also this reflection of like, um, you know, are you, do you really want to do this for the next 10 years? You know, that's, that's the thought that's going on here. Let's see the sun in reverse. And this could fall as a relationship too. Um, because, you know, it's like one of those things where do you see yourself being with this person for the long run, you know? Um, this could be a lot of com conflict and, and uh, you know, one-upping on each other, you know, things like that too. Seven of Swords in reverse here, I feel like there's going to be you know, something here that you start seeing. I, I just feel like you're starting to see something for what it is. You know, that's kind of what's coming out. Let's see the Five of Wands. Nine of Swords here. So whatever it is, you know, is stressing you out. Um, and again, this could be you or someone around you or someone that you're thinking about, but I'm just, you know, it just feels like an energy of being stressed out, you know, just kind of overthinking, not really overthinking too. It's just kind of it's stopping you from, you know, it's like one of those things where you're either working or putting too much time into something and not having, um, you know, more personal life for you. Um, there's there's a thought of that here. Really, you know, it is heavy energy. It's a little bit worry, worrisome here. Let's see the world. The Knight of Wands, okay? So I do feel as though you're going to be coming out of this. So either you, you are going to leave a situation and find something else, um, or you're just going to drop this toxicity. There's some sort of like, you know, um, secrets that are coming out. There's something that you're starting to see for, for what it is, like I said. Um, and, and you're kind of in this energy of like wondering why, you know, why did this, why did this, um, you know, kind of start this way or why am I in this situation, you know? Um, because it is like delaying you from maybe what you want to do. Maybe you're working towards your stability, you know, nine of, nine of pentacles in reverse here. So um, you feel like there's something stopping, but I feel like there's something here that is like meant to happen to kind of put you in the, in, you know, put you in a better future, basically. Um, let's see. A lot of, you know, into more fire energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius too, and the world. That means there's a new cycle, a new beginning here. So I feel like you're creating something new for yourself or you're shifting your energy into, kind of like manifesting, getting out of toxicity and manifesting into something that you're supposed to do here, but it's like meant to be. This is like wherever you're at, um, you may feel, you know, the five of swords, you may be feeling confused, wondering what's going on, but there's, there's something good coming in for you, okay? Now you have the four of cups in reverse here, so 
um, that clarifies the Knight of Cups. So there's just keep an eye out for um, opportunities. Now the Four of Cups in reverse tells me that you do see these opportunities coming towards you. So either you're running out and trying to find new opportunities or these opportunities are coming towards you. But you are leaving, like I said, an old situation moving to, towards something new here, okay? Um, we have the King of Cups in reverse and the King of Pentacles in reverse. So if there's any advice here that I can give you, you there's a sense of moving forward into something better, but don't think about money so much, okay? Um, you know, if, the, if you guys are, or whoever this is that resonates with, if there's a focus on finances and stability too much, it's like the advice here is to have fun. You know, the Knight of Wands here. It's like once you get a sense of, of taking your time to just enjoy and get out and do your own thing and just kind of, focus on things that you want and focus on things that make you happy and focusing on just your happiness and what makes, you know, just that. I feel like the pentacles start coming in, the money starts coming in for you. But if you're focusing on finances, or you're focusing on stability so much, um, I feel like there's someone here that's just focusing too much on the money and could be missing out on other opportunities. Queen of Cups, King of Cups in reverse, a lot of reversals there, okay? So needing to take some time out for yourself is really what's going on, okay? Let's see the uh, Knight of Wands. See the Queen of Pentacles. See, you have the, this is your energy right here, but there's a focus. This overall, it's kind of like looking at your money situation or focusing on like, you know, when am I going to get this raise? When is this coming in for me? When is this happening for me? It's too much focus of something that you're unsure. You like, you don't even have the answer for. So you need to focus on the present, is what's going on here. And I feel like you're going to be more in your power, um, where and then you're going to feel that shift of movement here. That's what's going on. Okay. Let's see. Yeah, see? Movement, chariot. Yeah, there's movement forward. It's just, you know, just a little bit of a feeling like there's a delay, but there's going to be movement forward, clarity, a lot of fast changes too. The Eight of Wands. This is Sagittarius energy, but, you know, it's like, um, could be a lot of communication too for a lot of you guys, but I do feel like there's fast changes and movement forward into something better for you. So something good is coming for you, but uh, if, if there's any advice here in this reading, it's like letting go of just overthinking, you know, maybe just you're just thinking about money or you're thinking about connections or maybe wanting a connection. You know, it's like the advice is to let it go and let's just let things happen. Let the cards fall where they need to fall. And I think you're going to find more peace here for yourself. Um, and maybe that's the clarity that you get to where you move forward. Then all of a sudden everything kind of lines up for you here. Okay, so that's kind of what I'm seeing for you, Capricorn. Um, let me get you guys a Oracle. We have Splendor. Let's see here. So this is, you know, a card about just kind of getting outdoors and enjoying what's around you. That's what's going on here. Because you can see in the card, I feel like the butterflies and the nature around Ganesh there. So it's kind of a, a energy of needing to take some time out for yourself. You know, I did see the Four Swords somewhere earlier, but um, let's just get a little read here. For I won't read you the whole thing, but um, let's see here. Um, so it says, seek and honor the beauty and splendor that is within and around you. Ganesha is surrounded by beauty in this card and is calling it to your attention. Awaken to what you are surrounding yourself with at this moment. See more deeply and be aware of the impact of your surroundings on what you create in your life. Ganesha urges you to let beauty penetrate into your heart. You will naturally respond to this beauty by fostering more care and love, not only in your life, but also in the lives of those around you. Okay, so that is your reading, Capricorn. Um, hit the like, subscribe if you, um, if this resonated, hit the like and subscribe if you have not already. And um, until next time, we'll see you. You guys have a good one.